Hello and good evening, everyone. Um, this is Jedediah speaking, and as uh, our fellow Zoom voice has said, this session will be recorded, uh, more for the purposes of anyone who might have missed today's session. Uh, so don't worry about anything else being recorded. Uh, anyway, it'll be mostly me talking for today. Uh, so again, warm welcome to everyone. Uh, can I get everybody in the chat just to say hi to each other? Um, a quick hi. Uh, just to show everybody that you are here in the room. Uh, I have already seen some people say hi before that. Thank you so much. Yes, hi everyone. Thank you for showing up. Um, there's probably going to be a big mix of people. Some of you might be here for the first time. Others, this is your third time. Uh, but we welcome you all the same. Uh, this is a great entry point for people who anybody is new to the Game Jam experience. So uh, warm welcome. And for those who have been around longer, uh, please be sure to... Uh, help out and encourage the ones that maybe are attending for the first time. Uh, I'm sure they will be very, very thankful to have your help as well. Uh, so as I was saying, you're here for the Heritage Game Jam. Uh, let's go through some of the things of what we are expecting today. Um, some administrative stuff first. By the way, my name is Jedediah. I am from the Sagakaya Collective team, the co-organizer of this Game Jam. Uh, I, have, I have here with me uh, my fellow friends, uh, Gwen, Sean, as well as Jewel, who are also all from the Sakakaya Collective. Uh, so please give a warm round of applause for all of these wonderful folks for organizing this. Uh, and yeah, so here's for today's uh, schedule, or rather for the Game Jam, right? So for the Game Jam, it will be a 10-day period. Now, we don't expect you to be here for all of the 10 days, obviously, uh, but there will be a couple of key days that we hope that you'll be able to show up for. Um, so you're here today, which is great. Uh, keep up the good work. You've already done that. We also have day seven. Uh, so day seven, uh, which will be at the 3rd of November, um, it will be for you to play test your game, uh, not only with the other participants, uh, but also with some of the advisors that we've asked to come on board. And these advisors are industry professionals, uh, game developers with experience in the field. Uh, so it will be from 7.30 to 10 p.m. Um, all these key information will be found on the mural board later, which we'll give you the link to. Uh, so don't worry about taking all of this down. Um, you can also find it on the main Heritage King Gem website. Um, last but not least, you also have day 10, which is the very last day uh, of when you have to submit your game. So we will be cutting off the game submission at 6 p.m. Uh, and then we will have a closing event at 8 p.m., uh, where we will be here to play every, everybody's final products, um, as well as to do, just do a quick sharing of what our games are about. Um, I'll go through that a little bit more later. Um, also do note that the submission time is 6 p.m., uh, but that doesn't mean that you should only start submitting it at 6 p.m., um, especially for those who are new, uh, submitting your game onto the H.io platform. Uh, sometimes you might find there are bugs that pop up uh, so do give yourself a little bit of buffer time. Maybe start something at 5 p.m. Um, instead of 6. Um, or if you can even submit it maybe the day before, that would be great. But uh, as we all know, the ones who are experienced, uh, we tend to work all the way to the very last minute, right? To, to shove in as much content as we can. So uh, at the very least, start submitting by 5 p.m. That's our general advice to you. Uh, and for today's schedule, uh, we have already started today's uh, introduction at 8 o'clock, 8.05. Uh, we'll do a short activity together as a community after I tell you what the theme of this, game, uh, this year's Game Jam is. Uh, and then at around 8.20, uh, we will be finding team members, uh, either for you if you don't already have a team, or if you need additional members, this will be the perfect session for you to also recruit new members. Uh, and then we will end the finding the member session at around nine o'clock. Yes. All right. So quick introduction, who is Sakakaya? I've already talked about that. It's the four of us. Um, and especially for the newer participants, I think I just want to share with you a little bit of, us, of the story of why we are here. Uh, how did this game jam even come about? Right. And so this game jam come about because the three of us, Gwen, me and Jewel, uh, we were at uh, Funa IT Mall in 2019. And I think we were just talking about how we, you know, that this was again, pre-pandemic, right? Uh, and we were talking about how we wanted to see even more uh, Singaporean games uh, that had a very, very true, uh, an identity that's strong to the Singaporean brand, right? Um, and the culture as well. Uh, we also wanted to see more games that perhaps are a bit more artistic in nature and less commercial. Uh, and so that was how the idea of the Heritage Game Jam 
uh, came about. Uh, and so since then, we had organized Game Jam 2020 uh, and 2021, um, as well as the online exhibition that was part of the Singapore Night Festival. Again, this was during the pandemic. So the online exhibition actually came at a perfect time uh, for players to actually try out the games from the comfort of their own home. Uh, and in uh, 2022, we had Sean uh, who decided to come on board and help us out. So yeah, we're very happy to have Sean with us right now. One more person to our Sakaya family. Um, and um, that we also did a Kachang Pute event uh, just uh, over a week ago. Um, so for those of you who have missed it, this Kachang Pute was sort of like a precursor to Heritage Game Jam, uh, where we got some speakers uh, to actually come on board to talk about uh, topics they're passionate about that are related to games. Um, and so I, think, I believe some of our speakers are going to be part of this Game Jam as well. So hi, speakers. Um, and if you want to uh, check out any of the recordings of the speeches that they have made, uh, you can actually see them on our YouTube. Um, again, you can find links to all this uh, later on the mural board, or you can just simply search Saga Kaya uh, in YouTube and the videos should pop up. Um, but yes, um, we during this uh, particular Kachang Pute event, we also did an activity where we got all the participants to express their opinions over statements, whether they strongly agreed or they strongly disagreed. Um, and we had some questions, for example, like Singapore has its own unique brand or identity of games. Do you agree or disagree? Or games should strive to be meaningful. And uh, the reason why I'm sharing all these questions with you uh, is because I wanted to just set the context of why this game jam is important, why we want to do this game jam. Um, we think that it's important for game developers to keep pushing the envelope of what makes games um, uniquely Singaporean, what makes games artistic, what games make, makes games meaningful. Uh, and so we hope that all of you will start thinking about it together and discover what it means for you. Uh, and uh, hopefully this game jam would also help you uh, further push that thought. Okay, so yes, that's enough talking from me. I know you are raring to know about the theme. Uh, so are you ready for this theme? Can I have a, a drum roll, please? <laughs> Yeah, that's my drum roll. Um, so this year's theme is renewal. Renewal. Um, what do you, what is renewal? Why, why? How come this topic is like so chim one? Well, uh, let me set a little bit of context of why we chose this theme of renewal. Um, so we set this topic of renewal because this year, uh, or rather the year before this, right? It's all it's all been about COVID. Uh, in fact, when we started this game jam, it was because you know. There was COVID, everybody stuck at home. So we want to give everybody the opportunity to still come together and create games and hang out. Um, but now that COVID is, well, we have post-COVID, things are opening up, right? I know COVID is technically still around, but things are opening up. Um, people are getting a lot of different opportunities because things are opening up. Uh, we wanted to really celebrate the, I guess, the renewals of everybody's pace of life, everybody's habits, everybody's opportunities, right? What? does renewal mean to you? Um, and so we hope that you can express the theme of renewal of what maybe has happened to you or to your fa family or friends uh, through the means of designing these games. Um, and so we will have a short activity after this uh, for us to come together to discuss what renewal means to us, just to give you a little bit of a, uh, a start to this game jam. Um, but maybe uh, let me go through some key things that you will definitely need to know uh, before you start this game jam proper. So if you are new to this game jam, uh, this is going to be very important to you. So do pay attention. Um, the first one is submission requirements, right? So when you submit your game, uh, it has to be submitted to the Saga Kaya itch.io page. If your group doesn't have an itch.io page, uh, please go and create one right now. So every group should have one itch.io page. And on your game description, right, on the page itself, there are these three questions that you should also uh, write your answers to. Um, in fact, I think you shouldn't answer these questions at the very last minute. You should start answering them at the start. Uh, why? Because we think that these questions are going to be helpful in getting you to think about what your game is going to be about, uh, give you a better sense of direction so that you start off on the right note, right? So how is your game relevant to the theme? Uh, how close is it to the theme? Or why? why how does it express the theme in uh, any sort of way? So I know it is very subjective and it's okay. 
as long as you can state how it's relevant to you, to your group, that's the most important thing, right? The second one is what sort of experience or message are you hoping your game will bring across to the player? Um, so, I mean, you can say, oh, we'll let it for the players to decide or like decipher for themselves, um, but it will be helpful to give some context uh, just so that players go, will go in with a better uh, understanding of why you're doing this in the first place, right? Why is the game the way it is? Uh, so they are more guided. Uh, and last but not least, why did you end up choosing the direction of the game? Uh, just to give players a little bit more insight into your design brain, right? How did you all come to the decision? What were the things that you considered that were important to you? What were you motivated and driven by? So please do uh, think about these questions as you are designing the game. That would be very important. And do state your answers on the H.IO page. Um, and also, of course, your player controls, right? Uh, if you have no time to work in an instructions page into your game, you can just copy and paste and dump it in this description so that at least players know what to do. Um, and any bugs as well. So we hope that your game will not have any game breaking bugs, but if there are any bugs to be expected, at least do let us know so that we are not caught off guard or we know whether, oh, it's not a bug, it's a feature, right? Like we always like to say, um, so please do say that as well. Right. Um, and we are allowing tabletop board game submissions as well. So if you wish to do that, please do include a rules document and a short video of how the game works. It can be a recording of you playing the game, or it can be an instructional video uh, or an animation that works as well, right? Uh, and please do then register your H.IO page or groups H.IO page onto the Heritage Game Jam H.IO page. So on the page itself, you can register the Game Jam, Heritage Game Jam 22, excuse me, 2022, and your group should then pop up in our listings. And then we know that, okay, this group is present for this Game Jam. So uh, get all these admin stuff done and out of the way first with your group today, once your group is finalized, before you even start anything else, okay? So again, gentle reminder, the key dates, right? Day seven, which is the 3rd of November, Thursday, right? is play testing day. So please uh, come down, uh, get feedback for your games, uh, get feedback for other, uh, uh, give feedback to other people's games. Um, and why day seven? Just so that you have three more days to work on the game with the feedback that you're given, right? Day 10, submit your game. Submission closes at 6 p.m., but maybe start submitting at latest 5 p.m., right? It is also the closing event. So please do come down and support us. Uh, and your other fellow participants. And any of the things that I mentioned today, if you have a short-term memory like I do, do not worry. We will di direct you to the mural page later and everything will be there, right? So don't have to panic. All right. Um, and a little bit more about the closing day. So what are you expected to do in, on closing day? Uh, everybody will just do a very short um, sharing in groups. Uh, it will be a three-minute presentation about how your game works, right? The three questions that I had uh, mentioned earlier, that, that would be the format of how, what your presentation should be uh, about. So yeah, present it however you like. We're not gonna limit how you wish to present it, but we do suggest that at least maybe a little bit of gameplay in the form of screenshots or a video uh, would be good so that players know what your game is about. Uh, so yes, it will be from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. and every group will have three minutes to share your game. So yes. Uh, without further ado, uh, actually, before we head to the mural board, I'm just going to do a quick check of the chat. Uh, can my fellow team members also let me know uh, if you see any questions, any questions um, that you have so far for the game jam and submission criteria? Yes. Any, anybody has any questions? I'll let it hang for about 20 seconds. Okay, I assume there's no questions for now. Oh, does the game need to be web browser playable? Um, I think it would be best if you can make it web browser playable, um, but not everybody may know how to do that. So if your game is just downloaded and installable, uh, uh, that would be the bare minimum. Yeah, so not compulsory, but nice to have for sure. All right, that's a good question, Nicholas. Thank you so much. Okay. So uh, if there are no further questions for now, I'm sure there will be later on, uh, feel free to text, uh, uh, DM any of 
the uh, members uh, in the Discord chat or in the Zoom chat uh, if you need to. Okay. All right. So can I get my team to post the link to Miro? We will be going to Miro right now. Yes. Oh, we have a shark with us and a cat shark. Hi, shark and cat shark. Nice for you to join us. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, um, we'll wait for everybody to join us on the mural board. So everybody, can I invite everybody to, oh, I've got to lock this part, one second. Uh, can I join? Uh, invite everybody to join us on the mural link. Okay, we'll give it about twenty more seconds for everybody to join. All right. Okay. I assume that everybody is more or less here. Um, for now, I'm going to just summon all of you uh, to follow me on the board. So I'll summon all of you here. Okay. There we go. Yes. Um, so we're going to do a short activity. Um, the theme this year is renewal. What are some of the things that come to your head immediately when you see the word renewal? Um, grab a post-it by control uh, C, control Ving the different post-it that you see there. Or you can even add images using the function on the tab on the far most left of the screen. So uh, do uh, control the size of your post-it uh, so that everybody else has, has a little bit of space um, to uh, post their post-its. Thank you so much. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who is this? Giant, yes. Thank you so much, Mitchell. Um, yes. So what do you think of when you see the word renewal? Okay, I see some posters going out of control. Can I please ask you to respect everybody's space and minimize it? Thank you. Uh, whoever's giant poster is there, I'm going to move it aside for now. So I see some, some posts that talk about recovery, restoration. I see some keywords here. New haircut, for sure. I feel like every time I get a new haircut, I feel renewed as a person, for sure. It's a very cleansing experience. I love haircuts. Um, renewal of Unity license, that's too real and relevant. Um, whoever posted that, um, you stir something emotionally in me, for sure. Um, Sort of like the new era generation of things. Yes, yes, of, of course. So basically, uh, it's kind of related to the nearby post-it that talks about the cycle of life and death. Um, yes. Very interesting images. It must be of games that I'm, I'm not familiar with, but I'm going to guess that they are some sort of dungeon crawler. I am so sorry if I should actually know those images. Your wife getting a new boyfriend. Um, wow, there are so many ways to interpret that. Um, <laughs> oh, I see Kintsugi. Kintsugi is great. Uh, for those that do not know what Kintsugi is, I believe it's about the art of 
uh, taking broken ceramics and gluing it together with gold leaves or figs or something like that. I think so. Um, yes, definitely about renewal. Zombie renewal. I do not know what renewal that in that means. Probably you mean like reanimation. Is reanimation renewal? I think that's a that's definitely something to think about. Um, <laughs> yes, it's reanimation. Oh, Dark Souls. I was guessing it's Dark Souls, but I wasn't sure. Um, it's probably Dark Souls. Uh, yeah. Trying again one more time. Yes. So I think I'm going to just say something here. I do expect for games to, of course, have this some, maybe some of them will have mechanics of, you know, like dungeon crawlers, right? Where you can do it all again and you're like revived and renewed. Um, I will encourage you to think a little bit more about that, right? Like what does it have to do with your personal experience as a Singaporean uh, in the time that you have gone through this entire three years of this, you know, crappy COVID period, right? Um, COVID wave renewal, speaking of which, I hope that doesn't happen, though I guess that is sort of already happening. But the good news is that we are more prepared for it now more than ever before. Um, yes. Okay, I still see a couple of people posting, so I'm just going to give you about 30 more seconds before we close. Um, I see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, that is an interesting uh, take on renewal that I probably cannot guess. <laughs> is it the fact that they were ordinary turtles and then they gained mutant abilities to turn into fighting turtles? I do not know. Um, Yes, new water is definitely renewal. Uh, yes, okay. I see passport renewal. If someone can make like a papers piece game sort of that on that sort of thing, that'd be cool. Um, so yes, I think all of you can see that there are a lot of different directions that you can take with the topic of renewal. <laughs> when my period comes, oh my gosh. I love it. That. Um, I love it. Yeah, exactly. It is a form of renewal, right? So you can go on so many levels and layers. Um, please do look at the board for inspiration if you run out of ideas uh, with a group, right? So I am going to ask that all of you uh, pause on posting on the board because I think we have enough ideas for now. You can always post it later if you wish because I am now going to go through uh, the other sections uh, of the board. So I believe that most or quite a lot of you already have teams. Um, but even if you already have a team, uh, I will ask you to still be a participant in this section as well. If you can, can find it in your um, capacity to include new people uh, into your team for this game jam, I think that would be good, especially for those that have never done a game jam before, right? So um, yes, I'm going to summon all of you once again, if you don't mind. Um, over here, right? So uh, if you look at all these different uh, things that we posted here, this is how you should be uh, creating your sort of like add um, to finding a team or finding a teammate. I will unlock all these icons later uh, once I'm done explaining. So essentially, I just need you, right, to create uh, your own posting. Um, with the icons that are relevant to your skill sets. Uh, if it's not listed here, feel free to use your own icon. Um, and then uh, write in a post-it your name, your pronouns, your Discord tag, um, a little bit about yourself, what sort of games do you like to make and what sort of games you would love to make. Uh, you can use images of games if you want to. Um, and then if anybody else wants to hire or I should say include this person in your team, uh, feel free to leave a post-it on that person's uh, ad um, so that you that person will know um, that they should get back to you. Also, it'll be useful to include your Discord tag if you're trying to uh, get the person into your team. Uh, and uh, on the flip side, if you are trying to bring someone in your team or you want them to uh, join your team, um, then you do the reverse, right? So you tell them what skill sets you might be lacking right now or what you're open to. Um, if you are okay with including people that may not have your the skill sets that you need, like you're just open, like, hey, we can have extra people because we have space. Uh, please do bring them on uh, and mention it as well. Um, and also talk about maybe what's our games that your team would like to build. 
Um, I will say my advice to how big of a team you should have, I would say not more than eight people because once it goes beyond eight people, uh, it will definitely become a little bit hard to manage the pipeline. Um, so not beyond eight people. But that is just our recommendation. Don't let us stop you. Okay. So um, before I unlock the different icons and for you to start the posting, um, let me delete this for a while. I am going to summon you all once again. So if you look over here, uh, these are the different details of um, what you will need for the game jam. So if you, you want to look at the teams list, to edit the teams list, to add people into your team, update it, it's all here as well. Uh, game jam rules and details is here. Um, our main page is here. Uh, the Discord link, I mean, you should already have the Discord link, but just in case you need to send it to people, it's there. Um, cool. But please do not send people who are not part of the game jam, only send people who are part of the game jam. Um, if you need to know uh, what to do for a game jam, if, especially if this is your first time doing a game jam and you need some beginner tips, um, please do use the link called How to Survive a Game Jam Guide. Um, usually we would do a presentation, but unfortunately, uh, our dear Sean has lost his voice um, so uh, we will not be doing the presentation this year. However, I think the PowerPoint as well as the community will be definitely here to help you out uh, if you need uh, such details. So do depend on that. Uh, the submission guide on what I think, what I said earlier about how, what you should uh, do for your submission, they're all here as well in the form of slides uh, and the schedule as well. Uh, I realized that the timing for the day seven is missing. So I'm going to include the timing and update that uh, slide later, uh, but just note that it's from 7.30 to 10 p.m. Uh, on day seven, right? Okay, so now before that, uh, before I release y'all and let y'all create your ads, we are going to do one last official community activity. So can I invite all of you to just express some words of advice and words of encouragement for your fellow participants, especially if they're new? Um, what would you say to them uh, and how how should they su best survive a game jam? Can you leave some tips for them, please? Um, do copy and paste the post-its if you can, uh, just so that you know there's uh, room for everybody um, instead of just dragging them. Thank you so much. Yes. And you can always change the color of your post-it uh, by clicking on it and changing the color. So I'm going to duplicate a few more for you all. Yes. And let me expand the space so that there's more space for all of you. The tip on don't need 100%, 70 to 80% can go. Um, actually, this is very important. Definitely don't always aim for perfection or the highest standard. Um, Especially if like you're not sure whether the game direction will definitely work. You definitely want to give yourself some room for exploration. If you happen to find a new concept or a new direction by accident, you want to be flexible to be able to adapt to that. Um, also, sometimes you would scope more than you should. So 70 to 80% is definitely a great um, tip to have. Uh, yes, try not to put your post-it over someone else's post-it if you can, so that we can read everybody's post-its. Thank you so much. Um, Let's see what else. Start small and smaller. <laughs> very true. Do not overscope. That's very true. Focus on one key mechanic. Less can be more. Thank you. This is very more specific to just overscoping, right? This is specifically about mechanics. Um, focus on one good mechanic that works because uh, even though we have 10 days, the reason why we're doing 10 days is just more so that you have time to actually think about your idea and you will not be mad rushing, right? Most game jams tend to be 72 hours. And yes, sleep on that note, very nice segue because we want to give you the time to sleep. So please do sleep, don't overwork yourself. Um, yes, sleep is very important. Burnout is something we want to avoid. Um, yes, have a team leader to make the big decision so everybody don't procrastinate. Whoever posted this, also so true. Uh, having someone to just say, let's go this direction, right? doesn't matter if the leader is correct or wrong. I mean, at the end of the day, it's about finding a direction that we stick, the team can stick to so that you can end the game with a workable idea. Um, yes. 
All right, we're going to close this section in about 30 seconds. So do post your last messages. Plan for the possibility of failure, yes. I will say that if you are not experienced at doing game jams, maybe this is a little bit difficult unless you have someone on your team um, to show you the way of like what might fail. Um, but I think if you scope small, do something small, right? Don't aim for a big game. One mechanic, right? Do it very well. Uh, I think that is always a good place to start to, you know, reduce the uh, opportunities for failure. Um, and this face is so cute. When day is dark, always remember happy day. Yes. Uh, I mean, I hope with our game gem theme, you it is a generally positive one and that uh, it will be a happy experience for you. Yes. And keep calm and just meow meow. Yes. All right. I am going to close this activity. Thank you so much for all of your kind words of encouragement and advice. Um, we are going to unlock the uh, different icons so that it will be easier for you. So please, um, if any, with anything on this board, uh, copy and paste. Uh, don't um, uh, do not. Uh, what's the word for it? Uh, Actually, sorry, can I invite my Saga Kaya members just on the icons under participant information? Can you uh, individually help me unlock each of the icons? Thank you so much. Um, yes. So uh, I already see CS Low already posting an ad. Um, so yes, uh, if anybody would like to hire CS Low, Gideon, um, Gazy, Gazy as well. Yes, Gersi. Percy, uh, yes, uh, please do so. Yeah. If there's not enough, not enough space on the board, uh, I am going to just, exp um, oh no, I can't expand it this way, can I? Yes. If there's not enough space on the board, um, you can post it to the left. Though from my experience, I think it should be enough space. Yes. Okay. I think this is about it. Oh, uh, sorry, Jewel. Let me give you facilitator powers. Uh, Sean, yeah, I don't have powers either. Oh, he? I thought I gave you just now. Hold on. Let me it's okay. Give you... I'm going to slowly unlock it. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Okay. Right. Um. Now is the time that I think um, while everybody is uh, posting their ads, I will start to um, open the floor to any questions um, from the jammers on the game jam. Uh, any details that you wish to know. Yeah, please post your question in the Zoom chat if you need a question. Okay, I assume no questions, um, but it's okay. So uh, we will be opening this Zoom room until 9 p.m. Um, so maybe another key thing I should mention is if you look at the Discord chat, uh, we have a Discord channel for each of the teams. So if you are creating a new team, uh, do let the Sakakaya team know so that we can create a channel for you. Uh, and you will also have to update your team in the team sheet that is under the useful references link in Neuro. Um, and then also, of course, register your itch.io page. If you have any questions about the game jam, uh, feel free to DM any of us. Our names are in red, I believe, right? Yes, in red. Uh, purple is also fine. We have some volunteers with us uh, and we will try to make ourselves as available as possible over the period of the 10 days. So uh, we should be able to get back to you within maybe like less than half a day if you were to ask us a question. Um, if you are still looking for people on your team, uh, we have a channel called HGJ looking for group LFG. So feel free to post 
uh, your ads there as well after today. Um, if you need to uh, do any sort of play test uh, or you want people to play test even before or after the play test day, uh, feel free to call, shout out and just call for volunteers to help. Uh, and uh, even the Sagakaya team would be happy to be testers on, of your game. We're very excited to see what you'll come up with. Um, but yes, other than that, just uh, keep it friendly, keep it PG, and I think we'll all be fine. Um, yes. Okay. All right, I am going to start playing some elevator music um, as you find your teammates. Um, if your team wishes to take a leave and start uh, planning your game and doing all the admin stuff, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, this is the time that you can leave. Um, otherwise, again, we'll be opening the room till 9 p.m. Uh, so if this is the last time you'll be hearing my voice, uh, I wish you all the best. Uh, good luck for this game jam. I'm sure you can do it. Uh, and we will see all of you on day seven uh, at six, sorry, at 7.30 p.m. So thank you very much for your time and cheers. Uh, good luck. And I will start playing the music.